Hello, junior guides. I am Safari Guide Frank. I hope you are as excited as I am about today's safari. Let's go. Today we will be exploring the fascinating world of birds. There are about 9,000 species of birds on the planet. The feature that sets birds apart from all other animals is the fact that they all have feathers. Birds are true flyers. There is one other animal considered to be a true flyer. Do you know which animal that is? It is a bat. Birds are found just about everywhere on Earth, and that is due to their ability to fly. There is another feature that sets birds apart from other animals, but not from reptiles. They build nests to lay their eggs in. Some birds don't build nests, like the cuckoos family, that use other birds' nests, and owls. Some birds need to be cared for when they hatch from their egg. Other birds can run minutes after being hatched and learn from their parents how to look for food. Bird's beaks. Let us talk about the beak of a bird. Birds are the most opportunistic feeders on the planet. They adapt to just about every environment. All birds specialize in how they feed, and that is why they are so special. The bird's beak plays an important part in what they eat. Let's discuss some specialized feeders. Let's look at fish eaters like this heron in the picture. These birds have spear-shaped bills, which is used to spear and catch fish. Herons, darters, cormorants and so forth have such bills. Meat eaters. These birds have short, strong beaks that are hooked at the tip. This helps with the ripping and tearing of flesh. Vultures, eagles, falcons and some shrikes have such beaks. Insect eaters. There are three ways of catching insects, in the air, on the ground, or in trees. In the air, birds have small bills, but have a very wide mouth like swifts and swallows. It varies depending on where the birds specialize. There are a number of birds like bee eaters who use different methods of feeding. Fruit eaters. There are many shapes of bills here. Some of the common ones are parrots and bulbuls. Seed eaters. There are two types of seed eaters. The ones that break open the seed and eat the kernel on the inside, like finches or sparrows, and then there are the other ones which swallow the seed whole like doves and pigeons. Nectar feeders. These birds are usually very brightly colored. This is a very familiar shaped bill, curved down so that they can get to the sweet nectar within the flower. Birds like sunbirds have such bills. Let's look at the filter feeders. This is a very specialized group of birds. They have special projections on the inside of their mouths that filter the food from water and mud. Birds that use such feeding methods are known as flamingos and ducks. Let's look at the probers. These are birds with an arc-shaped beak that use this method to probe into the substrate to look for food. A common bird in South Africa that uses this method to feed is known as the hardidar ibis. Woodpeckers. This group of birds specialize in the way they feed. They have a very strong bill that they use to excavate holes and a long, sharp tongue to catch food in those holes. Woodpeckers are such famous birds. Let's look at the size of the bird. Not all birds can fly. The heaviest bird that can fly in South Africa is the Cory Bustard. They weigh up to 19 kilograms. The biggest bird in the world is found in Africa. It is known as the common ostrich. It weighs between 63 and 145 kilograms. Then, the smallest bird in the world is known as the bee hummingbird. And it is found in Cuba, which is in the Americas. It weighs between 1.6 and 2 grams.
Now that you know all about birds, it's time to test your knowledge in a quiz. We look forward to seeing you all again on our next adventure.